right there. Now it's unfortunately the that blue highlighted thing is hard to read, so I'm I'm going to read it again. This this is the part of the sign up that is hidden. The applicant does not see this, but it is in the source code. And what that blue highlighted area that's been circled in red says is, you have no reasonable expectation of privacy regarding any communication or data transiting or stored on this information system. Now, Mr. Camp, Ms. Campbell and Mr. Slavitt, y'all both said that y'all were HIPAA compliant. How in the world can this be HIPAA compliant which HIPAA is designed to protect the patient's privacy, and this explicitly says, in order to continue, you have to accept this condition that you have no privacy or no reasonable expectation of privacy. So, sir, that would be uh, the decision made by CMS. So you're not, this is news to you? I didn't you're the main prime contractor. You've never seen this before? So we're, that's not the, the, we are the prime, one of the prime contractors, yes. Have you seen this, this before? Are you aware this was in the source code? This requirement is... Are you going, aware this was in the source code, yes or no? Yes. You were aware, okay. Do you th think that's HIPAA compliant? How can that be? You know it's not HIPAA compliant. Admit it. You're under oath. Sir, that is, that is CMS's decision to make what... I ask if you thought that. You just told Mrs. Blackburn that it was HIPAA compliant. You know that's not HIPAA compliant. You admit that you knew it was in there. It may be their decision to hide it, but you're the company, not you personally, but your company is the company that put this together. We're telling every American including all my friends on the Democrat side and their huge privacy advocates. Diane DeGette is co-chairman of the Privacy Caucus with me. But you're telling every American, if you sign up for this or even attempt to, you have no reasonable expectation of privacy. That is a direct contradiction to HIPAA, and you know it. Yes or no? Once again, CMS has us complied to a set of rules and regulations that they've established under our contract. And that is a CMS call. That is not a contractor call. To break the law. You're now saying that CMS made a decision to break the law. Do you agree with that decision? Sir, I cannot, make a de I cannot speculate on CMS. Right, well, let me ask Mr. Slavitt. This is the first time I've see I'm seeing and becoming familiar with that source code. Okay, so you weren't aware of it. I was not aware of it. Okay. Well, all right, let me go back to Ms. Campbell. She's at least admitted she knew about it. Who made this decision to hide this and to, or to put it in the source code in the first place? I, I can't give you that answer. I don't all right, I don't, who do you report to? I don't know to? the answer to that question. I can was, go was back it, to was my it some junior underling at CMS? Was it the director of CMS? Was it, I mean... Who, made, who generically, generally made decisions at the policy level that your company interfaced with? So Give me that person's name. There are many decisions made under this program over this last two, two, two and a half years. So <clears throat> is this another example of where things just go into a cloud? I mean, all you are is a contractor that spent three or four hundred million dollars. No. So it goes, it goes to some amorphous <coughs> cloud and then... It comes back from down on high. Who wrote that? I am, I am not clear as to who wrote that. Do you think, well, let me ask it this way. Do you think that should be in the, do you think that, do you think that should be a requirement to sign up for Obamacare, that you give up any reasonable expectation of privacy? Sir, that is not my jurisdiction. You're a U.S. citizen. Statement one way or the other. Well, I'll answer. I don't think it should be. I don't think it should be. 